This talks about the first homework. This homework is the foundation for all programming assignments. This assignment is primarily reading and understanding. This assignment explains how programming assignments are structured and graded. Go to the ECE264 directory. There are two directories created earlier, called Lectures and Problems. The directory Problems contains the files of the problems from the GitHub repository. Create a new directory called Solutions to store the files for your solutions. The files in this directory would be uses for submitting homework assignments. The cp-r command copies the entire directory and all files inside the directory. Enter the directory and there are quite a few files. You can find the files in the GitHub website as well. This is the URL of the first assignment in the repository. In an earlier lecture, I mentioned that there are three different file formats, text format, executable format, and object format. We can use GCC to convert from the text format to the executable format or the object format. Let's study GCC more. GCC can accept many different options. In this class, we will use GCC in this way. Add minus std equals c99, minus g, minus wall, and so on. These enable a set of functions in GCC. The first one tells GCC to use the C standard announced in 1999. The second one, minus g, enables debugging. The next two enable warning messages. It is understandable that typing this long command is tedious. A simple solution is to create an alias, in the same way we created an alias for Alice earlier. By creating an alias in .bashrc, these options for GCC are always added when you type GCC in the future. Let's see how GCC's warning can be our first line of defense to detect mistakes. Consider a program that has a variable that is not used. An unused variable is usually caused by mistyping. GCC can detect the unused variable. This situation is a little trickier. A variable called var is created outside for. Another variable with the same name is also created inside for. This is allowed but should not be used. This is called the shadow variable. Shadow variables are likely to become confusing because the value inside for can be different from the value outside for. Again, GCC can detect the situation and issue warning. The next is called conditional compilation. By adding ifdef and endif, it is possible to turn on and off code using GCC. Suppose you want to print a message only during debugging, you can put and close that message inside ifdef debug and endif. If you add minus d debug, this debugging message is printed. Minus d after gcc means defining the symbol. You can also use if and d if this message is printed if debug is not defined by gcc. By defining or not defining specific symbols, you can have different sections of code turned on or off. This allows you to experiment different solutions.